Alright, what's going on y'all? We're back. Now, you're looking at, right now, a new build. I asked you guys on Twitter whether you guys want to see a shot creator Allen Iverson type build or a slasher Nate Robinson type build. And it was split down the middle for the most part, so it didn't help my decision at all. So I decided to just go ahead and I'm likely going to end up making both, but we're going to start off with the slasher. For those wondering what the build is, I kept the weight at 180, which is Nate Robinson's weight. I was originally gonna go with the 6'2 slasher. I like, who really needs the negatives that is a tiny slasher? Like, there's so many challenges you have to deal with just being a small slasher. I didn't think it was gonna be worth it. But then I thought, what the fuck was the point of doing the build? if I wasn't gonna do it right. And so that's what I did, man. I reduced his height all the way down to six feet. I, I was doing some analysis between 5'9", which is Nate Robinson's actual height, and the contact dunk plummets. You can't even hit contact dunks because you're driving dunking. It's so low, it, it just, it wouldn't be Nate Robinson because I wouldn't be getting contact dunks. The standing dunks at a 25, the stats were abysmal. And I was like, I can't do Nate and then not do Nate type moves. And so six was a perfect sweet spot and that's what we're rolling with. I went with 180 weight which was kind of right down the middle and check out the attributes on it. We have a while to go, this is an intro video. I'm gonna bring y'all a full build of course when I'm officially done using the player. This doesn't mean I'm not using my post score anymore. I, trust me, I enjoy using that player and it obviously doesn't mean I'm gonna use my A1 sharpshooter. All I know is with my sharpshooter, I'm lights out. Listen, I know it, it's, it, can, it can be challenging at times with my sharp when I'm playing really nice people but I love the challenge of having a 6-6 post score knowing I can't just go up on bigs I'm gonna get slapped so I, I enjoyed that challenge I figure let's take on anyone we got Nate Robinson six foot slasher and this is where one of y'all go actually Asian Nate Robinson is more of a playmaker than a slasher I think listen all right this is a fucking archetype system I can't control it this is what he plays most like in my opinion uh, I'm obviously going to end up maxing out my defense. I'm going to keep those four attributes for the rest. I'm not going to touch rebounding, of course. I'm going to go up a decent amount on strength because as a slasher, I want to be able to blow by people. And especially as a small slasher, I want the ability to kind of just shove people defensively. Uh, I'm not sure about post scoring yet. It depends how much attributes I have once I hit everything else. I'm going to go decent on mid range and I'm going to max out my three. I want to at least be able to hit a corner three if I have corner specialists and all the badges activate with the good release. You already know I'm lights out sharpshooter, so I got the releases down. So I already know I could bang threes with the slasher from the corner. You already know with patch seven now, it's a lot easier to make those shots. But the big question mark for me is going to be the post scoring. I Y'all like y'all already know I like to do the post cheese a lot with my sharpshooter. I know with a much, look, look, look at my uh, ball control. And my speed with balls is 78. I'm not gonna need to do it nearly as much, but it's still a move I enjoy doing. Even with a quick player, it still has a lot of value. I don't know why playmakers don't use it more. It's used by bigger players to help boost a little bit, but it could easily be used by smaller players as well. But really, I just, I, I was gonna make a slasher eventually. And while I, I could make a regular 6'8 slasher, and I could probably do pretty well with it. But this right here, this is a fucking challenge, all right? And so I just finished with the college games on this player, again with the Celtics. My post score was also with the Celtics. And as of right now, I have zero badges. So uh, <laughs> there's a long way to go with this character. I'm low key excited because I, I already know, like I was a little nervous when I made the post score build. If you guys missed it, I'll link it in the description. So this one, this one's gonna be interesting. Look how fucking tiny he looks relative to the floor. Ah, uh, man, I, but if, if this tiny player can start postering bigs, it might be a GG. Anyway, if you guys have any sort of challenges or anything you'd like me to do with this build, let me know. Cause yo, I'm gonna drop some fire videos with this one, just like I made that Charles Barkley video the day before. I'm gonna have to make a Nate Robinson version on this one. Maybe even a Spud Web version on this one, of course. But yeah, I'm open to ideas. You already know the fire videos are gonna be coming through. Today should be the last day I'm also going for mixtape clips. So I know a lot of y'all been wondering, Agent, when's that mixtape about to come out? It's soon. I, I just didn't want like this shooting from here on the park is all right. But I wanted to be able to shoot from here on the opposite side of the court and bang. That's that my goal was to do something like mind bending which is tough to do in 2k anyway i'm gonna leave it at that if you guys enjoyed the video them six foot slasher videos are coming through no doubt y'all at least know my build how i created the player i'm gonna catch you on the next one i'm out peace